We're talking tonight with one company planning its path forward. Norisan Industries is a floor covering company with 400 employees. They've been having daily meetings to prepare their return to work. Andrew Pekar is president of Norisan Industries and he joins us now. Andrew, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Sarah. So what is the strategy sessions that you're having entail as far as how it's going to look when you open up? So we have daily strategy sessions um, concerning all our business, but we're also working on um, when we're going to come back to work and how we're going to come back. We can't just say that the governor is going to open up New Jersey on Monday and everyone show up. We have to be very careful about how we uh, introduce people back into the office. So what sort of things are you considering to make your employees, we're seeing 400 of them feel safe when you do actually decide to reopen? So we've put together a very stringent uh, disinfecting system in place in the offices about all the common areas, but we're also worried about how we're going to introduce everybody. Uh, we think our first step is going to be people in offices because they can social distance and then how we're going to split up the rest of the staff with a half and half work one week on one week off or a third, a third and a third. Um, it's, it's a fluid process because you just don't know how things are going to, are going to end up when we're ready to open up again. As I understand it, you did receive PPP funds, the government relief checks, and have kept your workers on board. What's business like? Are you able to sell carpets online, or do people need to come see them in person? So we have done. We have had an e-commerce business um, that has uh, helped us weather the storm somewhat. Um, a lot of our business has been in stores, and of course, stores are not open. Uh, the PPP has helped because we were originally um, uh, did pay cuts. And we were going to go deeper with um, furloughs, and uh, we didn't have to do that because of the PPP. We we're paying everyone their salaries, keeping everybody on staff, and uh, that's pretty much the essence of the PPP was to keep everyone uh, employed. For how long? How long does that last? So the PPP will last us through about mid-June, and um, hopefully by then we'll have somewhat of a normalcy where we'll be starting to reopen and getting back to business as usual.